Hey, hey everybody, we're back. This time we're gonna uh, make some chips fly. We got to uh, make the steering stem for the triple clamp. If you watch the uh, episode one, kind of went through with what we're doing. I got my uh, inch and three quarter stock here, all chucked up. It just needs to be uh, uh, center drilled and then put the live center in. So we can begin to machining it. This is what we're trying to make, but a little bit longer and a little bit smaller in diameter. So it will fit in the, the CB750 and be able to adapt to the uh, Ducati 1098 uh, triple clamp. Anyways, I'm just gonna figure out how to set this camera up so you can kind of see it. We'll make it a little uh, speed motion machining here and we will get started. All right, we're all set up. What I need to do is I'm just going to true up this surface right here and then uh, center drill it so I can put my live center in on the tailstock and then lock this piece in. I already have it set up so it'll machine. I take that back. I have to loosen it up. Well, I really don't because really the uh, all I'm worried about is machining up to the flange plan on keeping it a continuous uh, diameter until it gets to here if I'm not mistaken generally these bearings are just a fraction smaller than this one and this one's generally a, a press fit on most uh, uh, style stems that use a tapered bearing and I got tapered bearings that's going in there so what I'll have to do is machine this first run which is going to require a lot of machining to get it down to the bearing uh, diameter and then so I will me measure the bearing diameter for the lower bearing and machine this whole section um, if we put the stop up to it I added some extra distance on the actual part it's being machined so that I have the extra room I said it needed about six millimeters so I'll be able to uh, have the extra on here. So, and then once this is all machined all the way up to this flange, then I'll be able to switch it around or I'll go ahead and cut the thread on this end with whatever I'm going to do. All right, I'm not a machinist by trade, but I have been using a lathe for quite a long time. Uh, so, if you are a machinist, you see something different, you know, feel free to drop a, a line in there on the comment section. But for the most part, I've been messing with lathe. This is my third lathe, so I've been uh, I've used them for quite a few years now. So, anyways, now we have that. We're going to go ahead and do our center drill. So that we can put our tail stock in or our live center to give us a support since it's so far out and we have a lot of machining to do now through my years of machining I've had uh, started with a really small lathe got a little bit bigger lathe and now I'm up to this lathe and I really like this lathe uh, funny story is when we were moving this lathe this uh, this big boy was pretty heavy and I had to make a couple of two by fours strapped together to make a lifting fixture to be able to pick this up and put it on here well later that night I gave birth to a kidney stone because of lifting this thing up so um, how about that for a little TMI I guess you could say but anyways uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and center drill this and then we'll be back So like I said, we're gonna let this cool. We need 1.180 um, to be our tolerance for the bearing. So when this cools down, we'll uh, do the final 
uh, pass on here and try to get it uh, dialed in and all I'm worried about as far as uh, surface finish is the area that the bearings are set. there it is you can see this was our this is now our minor and this would be our mid uh, diameters and then we have a light step here for the interference fit for the taper bearing there and this is a slip fit for the upper bearing here leaving this solid area uh, got our chamfer and then you can see our relief cuts that were cut in there for the thread so at this point the top section of the stem is done. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to take this out and I'm going to test fit it into the uh, into the bike. At this point, see if it's going to how it's going to pan out. Even though I won't have the bearing on there, I just want to just check my uh, dimensions here. They should be fine, and then we can move on to the other end, cutting that to the diameter it's needed and re-threading that in to fit in the lower trip. All right, here we are at the bike. I have the top bearing in, and as you can see, there's our threads. It looks good. I put the the rubber stop or seal on top of this, so it gave me my point to stop up in the, the uh, frame as it would be. As you can see, it's all good. Got the old bearing on there. Threads are cut. Um, I had to take and put the threads on the wire wheel to clean up the, the excess burrs that was on the top we made it a little stiff cleaned it all up slid right on all good so at this point we're done with this we are ready to start working on the lower section of the steering stem and cut those threads and we will be able to put the front end on this thing so we'll be back once i get the uh, part set back up on the lathe and then uh, i'll go ahead and get this cut down to length and then we will so I don't have so much to machine. I cut extra on here as I was unsure I was gonna do this, but anyways, we'll get this cut to length and then get her set up on the lathe. So we'll be back. All right, boys and girls, we're back. All right, we got the triple. And here is our stem that we have machined. Get it right here, you can see it. There you got an idea. Here's the stock one much difference in diameter. So there's our end that we machined there. So we're all good. So now it's the test of time. I said these are some of my first external threads I've cut. I've always cut internal but nothing inter external. So we had to wait for the tool. But look at that. little snug at the bottom but not bad she buttons up how about that we got a steering stem now so we can uh, start putting our bearing on here and get the front ends mounted on this bike hey everybody all right the I had started to work on the nut and I forgot to start the video on it so I have this is the factory Ducati nut that screws on to the stock stem like so and then your triple top triple clamp cramps around this so what I have to do now is replicate this outer portion and this flange or lip here and replicate it but cut the new stems threads on the internal side so it's going to be much thicker 
So I've already started. I went ahead and put it on the mill and I uh, indexed it and got all my holes. And those holes are for a specific, a specific tool to be able to tighten this thing up. Um, I milled, I don't have a good, uh, a big enough slotting saw to cut all the way through. So I went ahead and milled when I had it indexed, I went ahead and milled um, the, the, a starter slot for it. So now we have to chuck it up in the lathe and machine this to the right diameter and then turn it around in the, uh, in the lathe and bore it out and cut the threads internally and then cut it to size as far as the complete height. So let me get this all set up and we'll come back and we'll get started with this. All right, we're ready and I'll probably speed up the video from here and then we'll stop periodically. That's it. All right, our diameter for the actual nut is the correct size now. Uh, so we can actually start it on here. Um, it has the same exact fit as the stock one, which was fairly stiff to get started. So yay, we have this done and we have it to the correct depth that we need. So now we'll take it out of the chuck and we'll go ahead and do the inside so stand by and I'll come back all right we're all chucked up so at this point I'm gonna go ahead and machine this surface down to give us our correct flange thickness here right here so that way I don't have as much to bore out um, it would probably be easier to surface it afterwards but I want to be able to make sure I get an accurate depth of how far I need to go in on the nut. So the henceforth, I'm gonna machine that first. So let's get started. All right, so now we're going to cut the uh, light chamfer on both sides and we should be able to bore and go from there. We'll have to wait till I don't have enough room in between the chuck and the part to get my chamfer on there on the inside. So at this point, we're good. We got to uh, change up the tailstock, put the uh, chuck on there so we can get the centering drill and get this thing started. And we'll start boring it out with some drill bits and going from there. So stand by. Alright, we're all set up. I'm gonna do my centering drill and then after that we'll step drill uh, a couple big drill bits through it and run from there. Let's go. Alright, we're ready to roll here. So we have to take this thing in a little over an inch in depth. Uh, so let's get rolling. the uh, minor diameter is set uh, so now we'll use a boring bar clean this up for the minor diameter get our depth set for that and then we will set our thread depth and then we should be about wrapped up with this thing so we'll come back here in a few minutes I need to take a break and check some few things and then we'll come back. Perfect. Okay, so now the minor bore is done. Um, I need to check the thread. Um, this is a custom thread, if I remember right, it was like 26 millimeters or something. 
So I just need to check that, make sure we're all good with our uh, minor bore, or if I need to open it up just a little bit. Just had to check it, make sure. Uh, it's a beautiful fit. Voila. So there's that. So now we're gonna work on the minor or the major bore, and so I'll be back again. have a relief cut inside because it's harder to see inside with a relief cut um, so when I cut the threads I butt it up again camera this GoPro gets hot after a while a lot of machining anyways when I was, I was saying that I guess when I cut the threads I didn't cut a relief cut in there so I was actually pushed some of the material burr up inside the actual bore that we had made for this segment of the stem so I had to run the boring bar back through it and take that burr off. It does thread in there now. Um, at this point, uh, we're going to cut a chamfer on here to get rid of this flashing on the edge. And then we'll be pretty much done with this. And we can move on to uh, getting the triple clamp mounted on there. So me and my GoPro is getting hot. I want to go ahead and machine this and we'll come back after it's cooled down. All right, gents, we're back. I went ahead and I, I'll, I'll do mill work later on and show that in the video, but I went ahead and just clamped it up in the mill and finished cutting the slots down here for the pinch section of it. So at this point, we are done. That's the inside, outside. And voila, we are ready to put the bearing on and install the forks hey hey everybody all right the uh, forks are installed there is our machine nut that we have on here i've already put all the bearings on the new bearings i have i still have the old races in there but i'm going to punch those out because i need to weld on here and i'm most likely going to use a, the other triple lower triple that i have because it has adjustable uh, abilities for setting stops i may or may not but i'm going to have to weld onto the here for the stop to actually work. So anyways, I just wanted to show you a pic with the uh, uh, triple mounted on here and it's ready to go on the bike. Um, I put the rim on there, so our next function will be to machine spacers to center this tire out on here because the this rim is from a 2996 and this is a 1098, I think it's 2010 set of forks. So I just gotta get this updated and get the uh, spacers made but other than that that's the end of this video and we'll move on to episode two and we'll cover a little bit of whatever heck we're going to start on next so please like and subscribe and check out what's coming up next see you fellas